now, I'm going to call out here Shelly Winters. Let's have a tremendous hand for Shelly Winters. Hi, Shelly. This is Texas Star Night. Shelly, I wanted to ask you a question. I once saw the opening of your diary of Anne Frank, and I was so completely thrilled by it. Watching the picture, I was wondering to myself, what does a director like George Stevens do? Now, Van Heflin talked about his genius. You've talked about his genius. How does he bring together all these different techniques of... Uh, TV actors, uh, people who've never appeared before, movie actors. What does he tell them to do? Well, he just says one thing. He says, when you're facing a motion picture camera, all you have to do is talk soft and think loud. That is a darn good phrase, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Now, this is the second picture you've made with George Stevens, isn't it? Yes, you it made is. made Place it? in the Sun with him. Uh-huh. Uh, well, what, 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 do you, what strikes you about him? Well, he's the boss. Mm -hmm. uh, he really is. And one of the things uh, which I said to him at the premiere was that, that I learned more from working with him than I had at any acting school or at any, with any dramatic teacher. And he said to me, well, that may be true, Shelley, but this is the only school where the teacher pays the student $5,000 a week to listen to him. <laughs> Now, I noticed in the picture, and I noticed all the critics and the raving about the picture commented that this was your, you've always given great performances, but this, they said, was your warmest performance. What, what, did he cause that? I think so, but one of the things, Ed, is that I felt very close to Anne Frank and to the diary, and I felt very responsible to the work of this little girl. As a matter of fact, on this Easter Sunday, I would like to tell you about a modern miracle, if I may. Fine, would you? Yes. In August of 1944, in a little attic in Amsterdam, the invaders of Holland broke in and they arrested the occupants. But they left lying on the floor a little diary of a 13-year-old girl named Anna Frank. Well, here it is, 15 years later, and that diary has been printed in 28 languages all over the world. Millions of people have wanted to read what this youngster had to say about the potential of the human heart. Hundreds of actors and theater companies have played this diary in the form of a play. And now George Stevens has made it into a remarkable motion picture. You know, it's not just that this girl had such warmth and wit and keen insight into the behavior of human beings, and she uh, talks much about her shining first experience with love, but that kid got hold of a very important idea, that a human being is composed and capable of mercy and kindness and love and feelings of brotherhood. But they're also capable, the same human being, of vindictiveness, selfishness, pettiness, hatred, and cruelty. But this child said that when she examined history as she studied it, she saw that mankind always had the good triumph. She said that in spite of everything, I believe in the goodness in man. You know, and that comes over so shyly in this picture, and I want to recommend to the entire country to see it because this is, a, this is a very wonderful experience. How about a wonderful hand for this fine young story? <laughs>